Hey everybody, so I'm working on a 21 day go live challenge. My problem is that day one, I run into some technical issues, so I'm not exactly going live, but I plan to figure all that out and then go live starting tomorrow for 21 days, if I can do it. I'm gonna be out of town a little bit. I'm like, oh, why did I schedule right now? But at any rate, today, something that you're gonna love, you're gonna to wanna to know all about, and it has to do with your magnificent brain, okay? We're gonna talk about the top five foods for your brain. Number one on the list, fatty fish. Think about fatty fish like salmon, sardines, and trout. They are so rich in those omega-3 fatty acids. I always call them the alpha omega acids. I don't know why, but I'm like, oh yeah, I think I need to have those alpha omega acids. Alpha omega-3s, alpha omega-6s. Obviously, it's the omega-3s and 6s, but 6s are prolific, but omega-3s, tougher to come by, and they're oh so good for your brain. So make sure you're getting those. If you're not eating those types of fishes, then please take a supplement. Krill oil is really, really good for that. Matter of fact, several podcasts ago, like last year or something, I did a, a series on that, and krill oil is amazing. And it's really going to help reduce inflammation in your brain improve the blood flow, and support the growth and function of brain cells. So that's number one. Number two, blueberries. I love blueberries. Even if you can't afford organic, just get blueberries. Try the frozen section as well, but I always prefer the fresh. To me, they're like candy. I can just pop blueberries like crazy. Love them. They're rich in antioxidants, and that's going to protect protect your brain from oxidative stress and inflammation. Again, that's a word you're going to hear a lot, inflammation. One of the no-nos for your brain is going to be sugar, right? Because what sugar causes, it causes inflammation. So you're going to reduce that by consuming blueberries. They also, some researchers say they help with your cognitive function as well as your memory. So blueberries for the win there. Number three, nuts and seeds. Almonds, walnuts, fl flax seeds, chia seeds, all of those are so rich in the healthy kinds of fats that you want, as well as nutrients that are going to support your brain health. They also improve your memory and cognitive function. I like to get the, my nuts raw. I'll go to someplace like Trader Joe's. They have really good prices on their raw nuts, organic. And I just have a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I even put dried fruit in there, like some organic raisins or craisins mangoes. I'll cut up those and put in there to have coconut even to have like my own little trail mix that I keep. And I consume those just a handful of day. Got to be careful because they are calorie dense, but they're so good for you. So to me, that's a standby snack. I keep it in my car. I keep it in my pickleball bag. Everywhere I go, I've, I can just grab that instead of say a store-bought processed granola bar, even a protein bar. Those are great occasionally, but I prefer just to have the nuts and seeds because I know it's doing something for my brain. Number four, dark chocolate. It's rich in flavonoids, which are antioxidants as well. And they're going to improve the blood flow to your brain and protect protect also against oxidative stress. And again, dark chocolate can improve your mood. So I'm all for that. You know, years ago, I hated dark chocolate. And I always said, I cannot eat dark chocolate. That's so not true. Really, you can eat whatever you tell yourself you're going to eat. So I train my brain. I train my mind to be careful with my thoughts and to start reframing those thoughts and, and because I wanted to give up milk chocolate and all the sugar and all the junk and everything that's there. And I wanted to switch over to dark chocolate and it took me a while, but I'm able to do it. And now I absolutely love dark chocolate. I can even like 72% cacao, even that high of a ratio, I really enjoy. Some people can do like 90%. I tried a hundred and I'm like, ugh, that tastes bitter to me right now. And a little bit harder to, to, you know, swallow, so to speak. But I have no, been known to put a few of those types of chocolates into, say, a cookie that I'm making and kind of piggyback it in with the semi-sweet chocolate. And then you don't notice it as much. So dark chocolate, so good. And here's a beverage for you. Number five, best brain food is going to be green tea. Green tea is rich in polyphenols and those are antioxidants. Think of when you think antioxidants, oxidative stress or antioxidative stress. So you're going to kick back against that 
And those are going to improve your brain function and help with memory, help blood flow. All of that's going on at the same time. And even some people even say that the green tea has a calming and stress reducing effect. So putting these types of foods, let me say them again, fatty fish, blueberries, nuts and seeds, dark chocolate and green tea, best things you can do for your brain health. So go out and get some today. Do your best. We're going to, this 21 day challenge, we've got a myriad of topics to discuss with you. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to make these as mini episodes on the podcast. So in case you miss them, when I go live, you can just press play on the actual podcast episode itself. So God bless you. And thank you for tuning in and for sticking it out with me. But um, let's make teeny steps in the right direction when it comes to our health. We want to choose to think about our physical health. And that's one of the topics that we have on the show. So God bless you. Have a great day.